here we are. If this happens to you, you might slice your sprinkler line. That's what, exactly what I did here with the shovel. What you want to do is you want to first clean off the area, dig it out, give yourself uh, about a foot or so on each side. And what you're going to end up doing is we're going to repair this place with a coupling. So what I have to do is I have to actually cut the pipe completely through. Now you can use a pipe cutter. I happen to use a reciprocating saw. That's all I have available. I cut one side. I'm going to cut another about an inch off here just to kind of save this, remove the damaged area and save as much pipe as possible. And I'm going to take off that little piece there. A nice clean cut. So clean it up a little bit. Get the mud out of there. Make sure you have as Try to keep as little dirt as possible as going into the pipe because that'll get it, that'll gum up your sprinklers. Okay, now we have two hose clamps. We're going to put one hose clamp over each side. So you have to loosen them up before you put them on. There's several different types of hose clamps. I use the simple ones with the little screw on top. A little metal worm drive that kind of tightens them up. And you're going to take your plastic coupling and kind of shove it in there. It's a, it's a kind of a trick. It's, it's easy getting it in, just banging it with a hammer. This is the hard part here. This is where if you have more flexibility with your pipe, you're better off. And you're just going to squish them together. That's good, but it's not going to keep it from leaking. So what you now want to do is you want to bring those hose clamps up. You want to tighten them into over your coupling. And if you tighten your hose clamps both over the coupling, that should be a tight enough uh, connection to keep most sprinklers from leaking. Sprinklers are typically low pressure, so the, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And with my hose clamps, I tighten them with a screwdriver, and then I go over them with a ratchet just to kind of make sure. And there you go. You test it out and you're ready to go. Now, here's what happens if you make a larger cut. Uh, I had actually damaged my pipe a good three or four inch gash with a shovel. So instead, I cut out a section of pipe. There's my old section. Here's my new section of pipe. And the same idea, you put couplings on both sides. Bang a coupling on one side, bang a coupling into the other side. Now, you're going to want four hose clamps. In this video, I only put three on because I forgot to put one on. So I put one down there, put a second one on that side. I should have put a second one on the left, but I just forgot about it. And now I'm going to connect my one piece of pipe to the hose clamp there, or to the coupling. Again, I have to kind of lift and twist and stretch. And you'll just, you, you bend it the right way, you get it in there. Digging out more hose will give you more flexibility. And at about this point, I realized, oh man, I'm missing the hose clamp. So I had to rip it out and redo it again, but you'll see that in the final shot. It's a little breezy. There's my one hose clamp over the one cup of one side of the coupling and another hose clamp over the other side of the coupling. And it'll be good to go. There's a finished product, two hose uh, one coupling, two hose clamps, one coupling, two hose clamps, and we're done.